Welcome back, all you beautiful patriots out there. It's your boy, Tyrone, Mr. Conservative. And yes, patriots, I'm back at you guys with a real quick video. Now, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I mean, guys, don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to call me Mr. Conservative. And yes, patriots, so I am back at you guys with this real quick video. I want to take a moment here, you guys. I want to shine the light on Oregon. Because Oregon is actually considering, these crazy lefties out there in Oregon, you guys, are considering on making the whole mass mandate thing a permanent thing. They're considering it. It's a proposal. They might just do it. We don't know yet. But, hey, I'm pretty sure if the Democrats have their way, they will make it a permanent thing. Okay? Now, they say it could be overturned. But do you honestly think that the Democrats will overturn it? I don't think so. That's just my own personal opinion. I think, honestly, they will have you wearing this mask for the rest of your freaking life. If they can make it so, they would do it. Now, hey, this is the, the crazy thing about this whole entire situation with these mandates, man, is because we just watched New York mandated for the whole entire city, including five-year-olds, including five-year-olds. Like, does it make any sense to push the vaccine on a five-year-old? I mean, I don't see a lot of five-year-olds dying from the virus. I don't see a lot of five-year-olds dying from the virus. But, hey. I digress. You guys, let's keep on moving, right? But this is crazy, Patriots. You know what's crazy? I know it's crazy. This is what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with the vaccine. It has nothing to do with the whole COVID virus. It has nothing to do with the new variant. It has to do with the Democrats, okay? YouTube, did you hear me? It has to do with them. It has to do with them pushing their agenda. And I'm going to tell you, like, they don't have no end game. There's no end game. They, they will take it as far as we let them take it. And that's why I won't go quietly into that dark night. That's why I'm not going to let them. I'm not going to lay down and die. I I'm not going to just just accept these these narratives live in fear for the rest of my life so they could try to stay in power because that's that that is the ultimate goal of their their whole agenda right they're going to push fear they're going to push this this whole coronavirus even further and even further and even further so they can remain in power yes patriots yes that's just my own personal opinion my own personal opinion i'll probably get a strike for that one but i but i you know it, it's crazy you know what i mean it makes no sense what's the point of mandating the mass permanently permanently you guys think that we're not going to get out of this you, I, I, crazy lefties what's the what, what what's the point on mandating it permanent what's what's the point so you're telling me we're never going to get through this we're never going to get out of this pandemic slash scandemic slash pandemic whatever you guys want to call it we're not we're, we're not going to get out of it we're not going to get out of it right because joe biden told us give him 100 days he, he's going to beat the virus remember that patriots Remember, he said, give us 100 days, he's going to beat the virus. Well, hey, those 100 days to pass, and now they're, they're going even farther left with their agenda. Hey, we're not going to mandate the shot. They try to mandate the shot. Hey, we're not we're not going to do this. They do that, right? It's I mean, they, they, they do the complete opposite of what they say they're going to do. You know what I mean? Now you got Oregon considering making it permanent. See, Patriots, this is why I say we're living in the end times, right? You better be spiritually prepared. You better be knowing Jesus because pretty soon if they push this and they make this a permanent thing, you see what New York did. They just mandated for the whole entire city, including five-year-olds. I really honestly, I honestly consider this. I, this is how I feel. I think that what's next? What's next? What's next? The mark of the beast? Right? If they can push this and force the people and the people will comply with whatever stupid mandate that they shove down our throat, what's next? What is the next mandate going to be? What is the next mandate going to be? That's what scares me. That is what's really concerning me right now. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are just buying into it. A lot of people are just laying down. A lot of people are going quietly into that dark night. But me and mine, we're not going quietly into that dark night. You know what I mean? I am an army of one. I stand my ground even in the eyes of defeat. My patriots, I would never retreat. You feel me? All right, so I, I just want to bring that to y'all. I, I don't want to make a super long video because I said it was going to be a quick video for you guys. Let's end the video like we normally end the video with the let's make America great patriots. Y'all see that American flag and let's keep America great. And let me tell you something how we're going to do those two things. That flag is what made this country great. That flag is what's going to keep this country great. And I'll be coming back at you guys with another video.